Alrighty, so this is one that we built out for one of our clients who has been using CRM and Sales IQ for a while. Um, you know, and a big part of what we've done for them is essentially, you know, before getting to this piece, is helping them de-anonymize some of the web visitors, right? So you kind of have to, you know, get a lead to click an email or, you know, get a lead to click an email maybe through campaign, CRM, these various different ways that you can essentially connect visitor one, two, three, four, five to John Smith right, who's in your CRM. Um, and so after they've been connected to the visitor record, anytime that they visit the site, it will actually write to the visit summary section within the CRM. Um, that contains what page they visited, the date time of that visit, you know, an aggregate of their visitor score, which you can kind of set up on the sales IQ side. Um, and in this one, it's not it's not really a, a super technically crazy implementation where you had to write 500 lines of code or you know you know go too crazy here um but definitely a high impact one where using crm workflows basically able to build out automated communications that go out to those leads based on the last time that they visited as well as the page that they visited um in that session and so you know the use cases of this are you could have a lead that you talked to six months ago and you know you've connected them to the visitor record they kind of slowed down they kind of disappeared um, but then they drop back into your site right and maybe a quick little email saying hey just wanted to check in you know always happy to jump on a call at, right after they have kind of reinitiated interest in your product or service um, it might be just what you need to actually get them on the phone and maybe move the transaction forward Kind of another little piece that we did on this as well in the back end is some reporting for the sales team around leads that they own that have visited the website recently. Um, so you're able to actually follow up on those specifically as well outside of just some of these automated communications. Um, this one was built by Bruno on our team. So big shout out to Bruno. Thanks for your help on getting this one rolled out. Um, but yeah, it does nice. take a while. You know, it, it can be a slow burn with Sales IQ because the the tricky thing is de-anonymizing the visitors, right? Where if if they chat and they give an email, right? You've got them, you know who they are. You can send them emails with certain parameters where if they click through, you know who they are, but it does take a while, you know? Like for these guys, it's gonna be a slow burn where, you know, 1% of their list is de-anonymized and then maybe 2%, 3%, 4%. But when you start doing it early, right? And you kind of standardize that, Hey, any of our emails going out are going to have these tags on them. Um, then, you know, slowly but surely, you're going to build up that list of people who you know who they are anytime that they visit your site. Yeah, it's a nice way to make use of uh, the sales IQ data that flows into the CRM mm -hmm. and, you know, what, what you're doing there. Because most of the time, I think it just sits there completely unused. And, you yeah. know, it, it's nice to actually get a look at it and see what it's doing. So nice job, Bruno.